97. Alright guys, just doing a quick sound check. Can you hear me? You always do this. Uh, all right. Yes, you can actually hear me. Okay, awesome. Say so it's live in 48 minutes. Oh, did I make a mistake? All right. Um, cool. Oh, you guys getting... What's up with that? Hey, um, look, um, I know that um, I said to you guys that um, I have a special guest here today. Um, but before we get started on that, um, I just wanted to ask a couple of questions. Actually, I wanted to ask you guys one question today. Uh, the first question be, um, you know, where where are we all coming from today? Just um, wanna wanna hear out which town you're coming from. All right, don't worry about the school, but um, which town are you guys coming from? Throw throw some answers up there. From the shore here, okay. Oh, you're a teacher. Oh, Sarah. Okay, wow. Okay, I can't keep up. Um, I'm gonna try and see that. We got. A math teacher from North Shore here just wanted to say thank you for doing. Ah, no worries, um, Ms. Mayor. You're welcome. All right, just going through some of the names. We got Mangari, Taranga, Dunedin, Hastings. Um, I've lost Timaru, Blenheim, Taranga. Awesome, awesome. Um, hey, look, um, the reason I kind of asked that was, oh, you still guys still typing it. Okay, Kati Kati, we're going. Anyone from Stewart Island here? Just wanted to double check. Throw it out there. Upper heart. No worries, Jamie. I did manage to get all of your questions through. Um, yeah, man. Okay, cool. Um, so, by the way, I did mention to you guys before that I had a special guest here. Um, you might have actually seen my, my face was very bright and uh, normally you don't actually see that. Uh, but today I've got a very special guest from uh, TV3 uh, joining me. Um, he's going to come in there. There he is. Give a nice wave to him. So he's uh, pretty much kind of uh, gonna film, uh, I should do a short little story today, um, just about Infinity Plus One. So um, yeah, there we go. So he's just gonna be kind of in the background and um, it's all big ups to you guys. Cause like you guys have been talking about, yep, 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 I'm on TV. See, that's like bright right there. Uh, not, not like live right now, but I think they are doing um, some sort of story, so. Uh, you might just uh, hear a little bit more about it. But anyway, look, that's enough chatter. Um, we're going to get on straight with the questions, guys. Uh, don't mind the bright light from me, um, but just let's just keep going um, with the work. Uh, when is it going up? Um, I still got to do another little short little um, interview tomorrow. And um, hopefully uh, we will see a little story tomorrow at six. Yeah, six, six o'clock tomorrow in New Sub. So... Yeah, but it's big thanks to you guys because obviously you guys have been talking about um, what what I do here and I really appreciate it. All right. So um, in saying that, we do have a work to get through. Um, we've got, what is it? We're up to um, last two days for the MCAT. So I got about 10 questions today, guys, uh, maybe 10 or nine questions. Some of these questions, um, I had Jamie send this through. Um, and what I'll do is just, just as before, We'll do one question at a time and we'll give a couple of minutes and then um, we'll actually get through it, all right? Um, Shania, if I give out shout outs, I'm, I'm gonna be like going through the all 160 of you and that's that's a big, big list list there. Um, yeah, okay, cool. So anyway, let's actually get on with the work guys because that's what you're here for. So we're gonna start off with um, the achieved question, um, the first one. What I'll do is I'm gonna give you guys what is this 804 so let's actually give you through 805 um, to try and do this question so I got about 45 seconds and then um, we'll actually go through um, the answer so at the moment we got about a 165 that's jumped up 169 and it probably will keep kind of going up a little bit but we'll see Tom Tippy, yeah, uh, the name rings a bell, Tom Tippy. Um, uh, kids TV for you. <clears throat> How do you get excellence in this paper? You've got to answer three excellence questions, minimum three excellence questions, right? And then you're you're pretty much good to go. All right, guys, that's eight or five. Um, now look, 
what I wanted to do was uh, before I do this question, I wanted to show you guys this one because this is going to give you a bit of a reminder. So remember when we have x squared um, minus 16, um, we do a difference of two squares. So this will end up being x plus 4 and x minus 4. And that's pretty much what's happening here with this question, right? Because if you look at it, you've got a square number there, you've got another square number there. All right. So if we try and um, if we try and kind of apply that same rule, uh, we can actually write this as basically we're going to put this as two brackets, and we're looking for two numbers that multiply to 16x squared. And if you think of square root of 16x squared, uh, we're going to be looking at 4x and 4x. That's going to make 16x squared. Um, and then here on this side. Remember how we've got minus 9y to the power of 4, which is also squared numbers. So we could actually have minus 3y squared plus 3y squared. All right, so this is pretty much, um, I would say this is probably an achieved question. Um, and you've got to actually get the uh, full question right uh, to actually um, get this answer. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it'll be more than achieved for this question. Um, did you go, do you need to show working? Uh, Tom Tippy, no. You don't need to show working for this question. You can just do it straight up with the two brackets and then you're good to go. Um, did you guys want to do another question like this or, or are we happy to move to the next question? Um, Okay, that should shouldn't have asked that so quickly. Uh, move on, move on. One more. Okay, look, we'll do one more because it's a really quick question. I can't keep up with the comments. <laughs> all right, one more question. All right, we we'll do one more. So this time we have. Let's do twenty-five x to the power of four minus y squared. All right, try that question, guys. Very quickly, we're only going to spend like 20 seconds on this question, all right? Because, um, yeah, and I agree, the chat just went so fast. I, I couldn't actually even read a single comment there. It just kind of like flew through it. I, I, I do like it when it's like a little bit more... Um, chill that with the with the conversations there okay all right so answers time what we're gonna do is once again we're gonna put them as two brackets the first thing is looking at that minus y squared so we could actually put that as plus y and minus y and if we look at the 25 x to the power of 4 uh, we're gonna get 5 x squared and 5 x squared and that's pretty much it guys for this type of question um, if you do get that um, remember how we get that question where you have like you've got simplify with like a quadratic at the top and quadratic at the bottom uh, just make sure that you always factorize um, you don't even really need to show any kind of working you can just show um, the answer for this and if you got it you're one third of the way to getting achieved in this paper all right so you've already got one question correct remember there guys you need to get um, three achieved correct uh, for you to get through the paper. Uh, Gun Jiang, you're like, I want to do an excellence question. All right, let's throw you in the deep end. All right. So here is the next question. And what I will do for you guys is I'm going to give you guys, what is it, 809? I'm going to give you guys about 811. Now we did do a similar question like this on the last two tutorials. Um, and if you're stuck, the, the one clue that I'm going to give you is to get rid of the square root button. Uh, you've got a square. Uh, Jiananjan, for E, I would, to play it safe, I would actually say to you, um, you'd want to be doing like um, three excellence. We're done. Oh, cool. All right, we're done. Hang on. While you guys work this question, I'm going to go say farewell to the cameraman because he wants his mic back.
It's a nice mic. Alright guys, you guys got about another one, two minutes to work through that. I'll be back. Eight eleven. Ah, what's in? <laughs> oh, my dear, it's all good. That's a good mic. Well, you guys haven't seen Watson. Watson, come here. What? Watson. Ah, let him be. Uh, sorry, Scoutner. I just um, I've got to get rid of the um, the MCAT first. Now nah, he's gone outside to give a bark. We'll do this question first. All right. All right. So with this question, um, what we need to do is get rid of the square root symbol, right? So if we want to get rid of uh, what's in. Thank you, Felix. Yes, you can. Um, you can just use use highlighters. I'd, I'd strongly recommend it. Okay, so what we're going to do is if we want to get rid of the um, square root button, we're going to square both sides. So when we do this, we're going to get v squared is equal to rg s plus k divided by 1 minus ks. Now if you look at it, we are going to make s the subject. And remember we did this um, last week I talked about it if you have s in the denominator and the numerator you've got to actually move it across um, so that you can collect all the s's together so the way I'm gonna get rid of this 1 minus ks is I am going to actually multiply it so I'm gonna multiply it with 1 minus ks and all of this is equal to rg s plus k now I've got S here and I've got S here. So what I have to do is I have to expand um, both of these um, both of these brackets. Uh, why don't I why don't I become RG squared? Why don't it become RG squared? Uh, because RG is actually inside the because the squared is just getting rid of this um, square root symbol uh, prod. All right. Because of that, um, it doesn't. We're not really squaring the items inside, but we're actually squaring to get rid of the the square root symbol. So that is the whole point of the the square root um, squaring both sides. Uh, we could have done that, but then you still have to bring s to the numerator somehow, and so it's better to actually do it this way, Chromix. Cool. So I'm going to expand both of these brackets. And when I do that, I'm going to get uh, v squared times 1 is just v squared minus v squared ks equals rgs plus rgk. So with that in mind, um, now I've got s separated. So I'm going to get rid of the v squared to the other side. So I'm going to get minus v squared ks equals rgk. And because v squared is coming to this side, will become minus v squared. But at the same time, I'm going to move the RGS 
which will become minus RGS like this. So at this point, once again, I've got S as a common, common factor. So I can take out S as a common factor and I'm going to get minus RG minus V squared K equals RGK minus V squared. Uh, ignition, this is just one of those tricky questions, man. Don't think all of the questions are like this. Um, you've actually got a lot more opportunities to get it achieved in this. So finally, we can say S is equal to RGK minus V squared divided by minus RG minus V squared K. And that's pretty much it. Now, this is this is an excellent question, and that's why there is um, kind of like so much manipulation happening there. All right, so what I'll do is uh, just to clear things up, I'm going to put up some line numbers. So if you have any particular questions with any particular number, line number, please, please, please yell out. Chromix, are you talking about the question or are you talking about the stream itself? Well, uh, where did that line go? Dem, 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 dem. <laughs> Sorry, Afif. Citizen, if you do that, then your S is going to get trapped there. So you want to make sure that um, you want to have S by itself. What? Archie wants to look at you. Come here. Nope. He's too busy looking outside. Uh, line number four. All I've done is I have moved the V squared to the opposite side. And I've moved the RGS to the opposite side and because of that uh, the two minuses will change uh, how is there two v squares in row three Jordan that's because I expanded the bracket so this is a one remember that this is actually a one so v squared times one is v squared and then v squared times ks is v squared minus uh, sorry minus v squared ks Troll, that's correct. As long as those three achieved questions are from like um, three different sections, then you're pretty much good to go. Chromix, I'm going to try and do one more tomorrow, but um, it all depends on time. Um, so guys, just looking at, um, a lot of you guys are asking this question from line two to line three. So what I'm doing is like V squared times one that's the v squared and then v squared times ks that's the second part of it that's how i get that two extra uh v squareds uh sam you could write it v squared ks or ks v squared it it, it doesn't matter sarah you don't need to change the denominators you could actually leave it like that um if you because you would still be um still be correct Baxter, I don't really um, do that, but apparently someone actually made a comment that I bench. No, what is it? Not bench. What is it? I deadlift all the year 11s during MCAT, but I don't really believe that. So Sarah, you can't. You don't need to change it. You could actually leave it here as well. Leave it there as it is. Can we not move the RG from line three to line three RG? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that as well, Nate. Because remember, you want to have S by itself. Uh, Rhea, no, I, I think you have to square it at the first line. If you don't square it, I don't think any thing will actually work work out like that. Uh, two R's, two T's. Is there no just Vulcan? Unfortunately, there is no really um, set kind of questions to go. Oh, this is this is achieved. This is merit or excellence. Unfortunately, grumpy dog. Um, okay, what part would be achieved? In this case, I would probably say the achieved would be the first kind of line to get rid of the square root symbol. Emma, it is possible to divide everything by RG in line two, but 
you will end up with a much more complicated um, equation. All right, so what I, what I might do is, um, did you want to try another question similar like this or shall we actually um, go on to the next lot of questions? Is that a yes? Okay, yeah, another, another one, okay. I'll, I'll keep it a, a little bit simpler so you, you know, it just doesn't make too much work. Alright, let's try that one guys. How do you get excellence? Give me a second. Uh, Jordan, I'm not sure what you mean by that question for factorizing. How do you know whether to put plus or minus? Is that are you talking about difference of two squares or? Ooh, Telly, I don't know what that what that comment actually means. Archie, I don't know where he's gone. What's in? He was here, Archie, but he's decided to walk away somewhere. I'll, I'll go grab him. Oh, hang on. I can hear him. Come here. Come here. Good luck. You don't want to say hi. Oh, we can't see you properly. Hang on. Where is he? It's he's fading out. There you go. There. There you can say hi. Ah, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. It's a mini schnauzer. Ah, let's go through. Let him go. He's, he's a bit grumpy. Okay, go grumpy man. Yeah, go boy. Good boy. All right, guys. So let's get through this question here, right? So the first thing we're going to do, we are going to square both sides. When we do that, we're going to get k squared equals y times z minus x divided by 3 plus x. So that's your first step there, all right? Once you do that, we're gonna cross multiply. So we're gonna get k squared multiplied by three plus x is equal to y times z minus x. Remember, we've got x here and x here and we've gotta somehow bring it to the same, same side. So expand the brackets. First, we do k squared times three, which is three k squared, then we do x times k squared, which is x squared, x k squared. Then you've got y times z, which is y z. And then you've got y times negative x, which is negative x y. So hopefully this time you guys can actually see where those things um, came from. Um, so with that in mind, 
we still have X here and here we're gonna bring them together so when I bring negative XY to the side it'll become positive XY so that's this thing here we've got plus XK squared here equals YZ and we've got 3k squared which we're gonna bring it across which is minus 3k squared now I've got X as a common factor so I can take out X and I'm gonna get Y plus K squared equals YZ minus 3k squared so the last step you need to do is write down X equals to YZ minus 3k squared divided by Y plus K squared now you guys actually don't need to simplify any anything with like symbols or anything like that further as long as you can get X by itself then you are pretty much good to go no 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 why would it be K squared 2x did I make a mistake I don't think I did I'm sure I got everything right there definitely an E synth doesn't matter if I do K squared plus Y I'm trying to see where you oh no it wouldn't matter if you do K squared plus Y uh, Han I, I'd say like if you try and answer like three excellence questions that that should pretty much um, be good to go how you cross multiply that the only thing I cross multiplied was the denominator with the numerator the 3 plus X and K squared Oh, yeah, sure. Sorry, number lines. Yep, 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 yep. Sorry about that. Uh, Fran is the bomb. Unfortunately, it, it's, it, it's, no, I don't think you know that. We don't, we don't know, Anna. The problem is we don't know where these questions come up. I know the first three questions are generally achieved. Um, but the last one, it's like excellence. All I've done in line five is I've just taken X as a common factor. And for line six, because this is getting multiplied, this entire red thing is getting multiplied. So when it gets moved to the other side, it becomes divide. Now, nah, guys, look, um, we're going to move on. This is definitely an excellent question. Uh, we've done a couple of this. Um, where do you get achieved for this question? I would probably say like line one or two. I think, yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably say line one or two because um, I know that that's a concept that you actually need to know. So do the order of variables matter? No, just Vulcan. No, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Okay, so here is a another quick question to get you guys going. Um, I'll gonna give you guys till eight thirty to do this, uh, and I'll be right back. Just gotta set up a few things here.
Alright, let's go through this one, right? So, as we were doing the previous question, we were talking about cross multiplication, right? So, in this case, we're going to cross multiply this. So, we're going to get 2x is equal to 4x. And then, we're going to multiply with x minus 3. So, if that's the case then we're going to have to expand this bracket and this bracket and what we're going to end up with is 2x is equal to 4x squared minus 12x so once we do that we have the left hand side equal to 0 so we're going to get 4x squared minus 12x minus 2x so 0 is equal to 4x squared minus 14x. So then 0 is equal to, what do we got? 2x as a common factor. And we're going to get 2x minus 7. I'm like questioning myself doing this question. I'm like, is this right? Okay, so at this point, we can say that 2x is equal to 0 or 2x minus 7 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 0 in this case. And in this one, we're going to get 2x is equal to positive 7. And then x is equal to 7 divided by 2. So the two answers should be uh, x equals to 0 and x equals to 7 over 2 ah oh, yeah it's uh, that negative that negative 2x might have caused some grief for some folks oh this is this would be a merit yeah easy merit question where do you get achieved i would probably think that for this type of question your achieved would come somewhere here like making a making an attempt at the question and then getting it to a quadratic definitely a merit i don't think this is an excellence question uh 3.5 is fine Uh, Odil, Odil, I don't think it matters where you put it. As long as you get the x equals to 0 or 7 over 2, then you're pretty much good to go. Uh, well, Sarah, you're looking for 2 times a number equals to 0, right? So normally, that step, we kind of skip it because we can actually say x is equal to 0 divided by 2 and any number divided by uh, well 0 divided by any number is just 0 so we kind of skip that step and we just write straight away uh, if 2x equals to 0 then we just put x equals to 0 sorry uh, where is this who wrote that question was it Matt Matt you're looking at two brackets remember in a quadratic when you do something like this where you might have seen this mat, where you have x plus 3 times x minus 4 equals to 0. Then you'd go x plus 3 equals to 0 or x minus 4 equals to 0. It's kind of, I'm, I'm kind of doing that. So these, this is like separate. There's, there's two separate answers coming from out of this. <laughs> uh, you're welcome, madam. Uh, Pen Walton, Penuta Walton. I think the previous question we didn't change the sign because we we actually divided, and when we divide it, we don't really need to worry about the signs. Tom Tippy, that depends on your numerator. If your numerator has a the opposite of what I got it from my numerator, then you're pretty much good to go. 
Julia, you'd have two answers with a quadratic. See you, V-Duck. Oh, Jamil, you missed out. <laughs> we had a special guest at the start. Okay, so let's go to the next question here. Lev, don't underestimate yourself. You're going to pass. You'll be fine. You've got a couple of days to get ready. So guys, uh, we're going to give about, what is it? How much time do we give for this? I'm going to give you guys about three to four, three minutes for this. So we'll go through the answer at 8.36 or so 8.38. Uh, Harriet, um, you'll, you might have to actually come uh, watch the stream at the beginning. Now, it was someone from, um, it was a crew member from, uh, what is it? News Hub. They just came. It was a bit, a bit crazy, the whole thing, I have to say. I believe in you, Adam. I believe in you that you can pass. Uh, George, we're not doing any inequality questions today because I think we um, we covered quite a bit last time. So eight thirty-eight. On the contrary, Jamie, I think this is such a good question. Uh, complex art, definitely you do. Um, you kind of put those three numbers together and you add it up. Uh, Sol, 2016, I remember. That year was horrible. Now, cos locks, you can't actually have three X's. All right, so I'm going to go through this question, guys, because, um, like, how do you how do you put it? It's like um, I, I kind of had to do this separately first just to kind of get my own head around it. But you are right. The first part of it all is correct. So what you do is the first part of it, you've got three numbers, right? So you got three numbers. I'm going to put down X, Y, Z. And so my first equation is xy plus z equals 54. All right, so that, that's all good there. Now, here is when things get, get a bit interesting, right? Because we've actually got difference of two of these numbers, uh, which is 4, 10, and 14. So if we take x to be the biggest number, and then z to be the smallest number, all right, we don't know what, what it is, but what we can say is the biggest number minus the smallest number is going to have the widest gap. And if you look at it, you've got 4, 10, and 14. So the biggest minus the smallest, so that's x minus z equals 14. Now, the next one, I could actually say the biggest minus the second, uh, the middle number, you could say something like x, the biggest minus the middle number might be 10. 
and then the middle minus the smallest could be uh, four now that could you could actually have it written in both ways as well so it wouldn't really matter in this case but the main one that you have to do is the 14 where the biggest and the smallest number because if you look at it it actually says 14 is from there the green is 10 and then the 4 is that part there I'm not sure Emma I got this question sent to me so I'm just kind of working through it at the moment so I think this is this is this is probably the hardest part of this question, right? Because once you kind of get the hang of this question, then the rest actually um, becomes pretty easy. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to write this first equation here. I'm going to write this as x minus z is equal to 14. And I'm going to write this as x equals to uh, 14 plus z. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to be able to substitute X as that pink box there. Uh, Joe, it's no point asking me that same question like six times, dude, because it's like one thing I'd suggest is like um, take these questions, put it on ChatGPD and see if you can generate some questions because um, that's pretty much my my recommendation um, okay so the next one I'm gonna be looking at is what is it Y so I've got Y here this one I've got Y minus Z is equal to 4 so I'm gonna re rewrite that as Y is equal to 4 plus Z and the reason I did that is because now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Y and I'm going to substitute it here. All right, so basically I've just rewritten all of the x, y, z um, in actually three, um, all with getting rid of the x and y's. So because I have x, which is 14 plus z, y, which is 4 plus z, and then finally z by itself, which is the 54. All right, this is just one way of doing this, guys. There's multiple ways of doing this question. So I'm going to collect all the Zs, which is 3Z plus 18 equals 54. Then 3Z is equal to 18, uh, 54 take away 18. And I'm going to get 3Z is equal to 36. And Z is equal to 36 divided by 3 which gives me z is equal to 12. Now if z equals to 12, y is equal to 4 plus 12. So y is equal to 16. And then x is equal to 14 plus 12. So x is equal to 26. That's pretty much how you're looking at solving this question. Um, I know this is a bit crazy because I kind of like did like multiple steps here. So what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll try my best to put some numbers up here to see if I can help you guys answer this question. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, it's definitely definitely an excellent question. Uh, Jaden, how do you understand the question? Sometimes it's just about I play around with numbers um, until I can figure out how to write an equation. Um, yeah, uh, it's it, it's. I mean, I'm happy to give you guys another question, but it's um, what is it? It's already eight forty-five, and I've got a few questions that are going. Uh, which bit is achieved uh, you could probably say I think you might have to have at least one term eliminated for this to be an achieved but uh, unfortunately I don't have this uh, the answer schedule for this so I wouldn't be able to actually tell you uh, Gyananjan you're asking me for line 456 
Um, I don't know. Like the only thing I know is I've got that this part here, right? The 4, 10, 14 in the question. So I kind of just have to go if I take the biggest number and the smallest number and if I subtract it, I'm going to get uh, the largest gap of that's how I kind of went X minus Z is 14 and so on. <laughs> Sorry, Matt, that, that's a lot there. Yeah, Han, uh, and that's what I meant by it. So you could have tried uh, the middle number. Yeah, you could have tried it like that. Um, but I, yeah, I'm not sure like how that would actually work out. You could give it a go just to see what... Um, what happens? Aziz, I'm just looking at your one. X plus 4 plus X plus 10. Now, but that wouldn't... I don't think that would... Does it actually work, Aziz? Because the thing is, like, they're actually saying that the difference between two of them, right? So it's not the same number. Um... So I'm not sure how that would actually work out. <laughs> Joe Channel, you don't need to do that. Okay, look, um, we might actually do some more of these questions tomorrow as well. So what we'll do is um, we'll kind of um, we'll kind of move on to the next lot of questions, and then um, we'll have a look. All right. Because I know a lot of you guys were asking for like um, word questions. Sarah, I actually made the choice. I made the choice of making X the biggest number. And I made the choice of saying Z is going to be the smallest number. Uh, Gyananjan, I would, I would say so. Because I mean like look. Like I remember the excellence questions in like 2013 and 14. It was, even though it's the same standard, I don't understand why some of these questions are like horrible. Oh, you don't need to, Matt. It's all good. Devi, you can do this question. Trust me. Like when when we start working through this question, you're gonna be like, I can't believe this is this was such an easy question mixed Alan it's very mixed like some of the achieved questions have become really easy and then um, the excellence questions have just kind of um, been a bit tricky right I, I should have given you guys a time limit uh, I'm gonna give you guys till 851 because I think this question is actually doable by you guys question mark where where which class is that Ah, Lewis, no worries, man. I'm happy to help out. Hamilton Boys. Fairfield College. Wow, that is that is quite a while away. Emma, I, th I thought I already have a video for that. I just because I've already done it. It's like, how come you want me to go through that question, Emma?
I know you keep asking me that. I'm, I'm asking you, how come you want me to do that question? Because I've already done it. I'm talking to Emma here. <laughs> Prod, look. I don't, I don't really... Um, I, I enjoy where I teach, man. I love it. I love my, my, my the place I'm at right now. Thanks, Durian. Uh, Shania, I teach at Ormiston Junior College. I guess we'll find out tomorrow because there's going to be like a cool little interview, which I'm like psyched about. <laughs> can pi be squared I don't know why pi need to be squared in this case guys uh, SV dub I think he's actually gone to gone to sleep he's not around here he's actually gone to sleep but um, he's probably sleeping in my spot in the bed because he does that all the time All right. Oh, wow. 8.52. Sorry, I didn't see the time. I was kind of too busy looking at the chat and missed it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. So with this question, what we're going to do is if you look at it. Oh, no. I stuffed it up, didn't I? Damn it. I'm guessing you guys are getting a really horrible answer because I think I forgot to change change the value you idiot subash why would you do that these kids have like three minutes to answer this question and then you do something stupid like this where did i put it 24 pi okay now i uh i'm so sorry i realized that i actually made made a mistake i just saw the question that should not be 7.5 sorry about it i knew i forgot that little tiny detail sorry guys I was like why is it these guys none of them have got the answer yet okay we're gonna give a couple more minutes let's try that one because I, I, I'll show you guys I actually had the um, the working out here I was playing around with it but I forgot to copy change that height that was just um, my mistake apologies I'll give you guys a couple of more minutes Yeah, Emma, I've already done the answer, so you can actually have a look at um, just my channel, the main part, and then you'll see, um, you'll actually see the, um, the answer. Uh, this should be better. Sorry, this, this, this should be way better. Uh, Kids TV, I don't actually teach. I, I teach like year eight and nine mats. That's my current speciality good good to hear Farah good to hear <laughs> prod Jamalish all I'm gonna say to you is this appreciate the dosa man like honestly I would kill for one right now um, when I was young I used to get annoyed with my mom for making it all the time Star Platinum, absolutely not. I drive a Corolla and that's it. And I wear $5 t-shirts to school. <laughs> like this is this is literally my work t-shirt for tomorrow. Tomorrow is like I probably wear something. Yeah, that's right, gun. gun. You can't actually have that. Appreciate it, Jitin, but honestly, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, man. Like, you don't need to do that, but thank you. Yeah, it's much better, guys. Now we're starting to get the answers. That's good. Cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, that is... No, actually, no, not really a Baidula. Unfortunately, um, i got to say, Super Chat actually takes a, a very nice cut, unfortunately. So it's a bit annoying with it, but you know what? 
whatever. All right, so let's try this question here. So what we've been given is we've been given 24 pi as the area. We've been given the height, which is uh, four centimeter. And we have been asked to find the radius. So we are literally looking for those two things there. We're gonna put this up. We're gonna get 24 pi equals two pi r times r plus uh, the height happens to be four. All right, so now here's the thing, right? Whenever you get these types of um, questions with pi in it, and if they have pi on both sides, they will disappear, all right? So don't panic when you see like 24 pi in your um, actual answer. Stupid moth, get yeah. Right, so what we're gonna do, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of the pi. Um, so we're going to divide, we're gonna take just the pi and we're gonna divide it on the other side, which means we're gonna get 24 pi divided by pi equals two r times r plus four. Now, our pi's actually cancel out each other and we are left over with just 24 equals two r times r plus four. I guess you're thinking, why can't you actually take the two across and make it to 12? Yes, we could do that as well. So I'm gonna have 24 divided by 2 and that's going to be r times r plus 4. So what we have here is 12 equals r times r plus 4. The next thing is I'm going to expand the brackets. When I expand the brackets I'm going to get r squared plus 4r. Swap the 12 over to the other side which means I'm going to get r squared plus 4r minus 12 which then factorizes to r minus 6, r minus 4, no, r plus 6, sorry. r plus 6 and r minus 4 equals to 0. So I can say that r plus 6 equals to 0 or r minus 4 is equal to 0. So in the first case, I'm going to get r equals minus 6. And in the second case, I'm going to get r equals to 4. So we're going to ignore the radius of 6, so we have to say that r can't be negative. Therefore, r is equal to 4 centimeters. Ah, did I make a mistake? Sorry, sorry. Yeah, you're right. I didn't even see the comments there. It's got to be r minus 2. Is that better? That's much better. See, that's that's like my 8.58 time. It's telling me it's like I'm, I'm running out of gas here. Uh, Christopher, the reason R can't be negative is because you can't actually have a radius that's negative. Now guys, this question um, is actually a lot easier because normally you would end up with like, um, like a 3R squared or a 4R squared. Uh, and that's what makes this question an excellence. This one that I've done, I'd probably, it's a borderline merit excellence question. <laughs> um, restart, <laughs> jeez. All I did there, Matt, was I've, I've just did 24 over two, which is 12 and then just um, expand it and put that as a quadra quadratic. Yeah, I guess you could kind of say that YouTube watcher, you could actually say that because you're saying that R can't be negative, therefore it has to be um, an excellence question. Uh, 24 R squared plus 8 R minus 24. I don't, I don't know how you get that one there, Fran is the bond. Maya, I got rid of the pi because, um, I, you know, 
you don't want to be working with pi because when you try to factorize it just it can get a quite um, complicated uh, the um, Arman you're asking what is negative that's negative so you're basically saying that the radius can't be a negative number Han it wouldn't work because you'd you'd have to you'd have problems factorizing love it that that six no I don't, I don't think you'd want to do that quartz you don't want to actually put in any kind of pie in there it'll just make it make it a bit horrible uh ellie you can solve it if you don't have the 24 what you'll get is you'll get an equation that looks like this 2r squared plus 8r minus 24 equals to zero so you'll end up with that and then um it's still the same kind of thing right here we go one more uh do you guys want to take a break from word questions and do like a another type of excellence question pi divided by pi is just one mat you can start platinum you can do cross multiplication <laughs> so I, I don't even know why i asked the chat because i can never actually get oh look i can do a poll hang on can i do a poll here we go ask a question okay next question uh word problem or so okay wait I'll, I'll show you guys both the questions that i have which question shall we work on top or bottom okay let's go stack pull oh what happened does the poll actually work ah oh, here we go oh my god this is this is cool i've never seen this before Okay, top set 58%, 56. I never knew this was possible. This is this makes so much more. This is so much better. Like seriously. Okay, we're gonna do both, but uh, we're gonna start with the top one. <laughs> That's awesome. I've actually learned something new today. Start a poll within the chat. And 152 votes too. That's a good sample. All right, guys. So I will give you guys about two to three minutes just to work through this question. And then we'll finish this. And then we've got one more question. And then we're done for the night. Uh, debt success. I think I've got one more stream of MCAT left. And then after that, we'll come to TEG. And we'll come to <clears throat> geometric reasoning as well. Troll, I'm not gonna lie. I hate doing uh, MCAT stream before the, the before the night because it's literally like people that haven't even prepared for anything, and they just come and they go. I've got 12 hours to get ready for the MCAT, and I'm just like, oh, where were you in July? We do one last MCAT for tomorrow. Stats, level three stats. Uh, what time are we gonna go through this question? We'll go through this question at 9.06 p.m. Uh, Prubahu, I had a film crew from TV3 come in. Uh, I just, I'll, I'll show you a picture, hold on. It's gonna make sense there you go look at me doing my streaming and there's a film crew there it's the most crazy craziest thing that's happened now nah, star platinum I've got 2022 papers already up and running thank you Durian for the flight updates uh eli ellie i think it's gonna be tomorrow i've got to do a little another little chat tomorrow I, look i don't know man like it's it's uh, i don't know what's what's gonna happen but i'm just excited it's pretty cool uh, uh 
apparently clover it was just um you know, some um, a, a lovely reporter found out about something that i've been working on and uh, they just wanted to kind of share that story um as a positive story for people and you know why not if infinity plus one can inspire then why not uh <clears throat> heavenly dean i got a playlist set up um on my where is it where is it give me a second let me just go through it if you're just aiming for achieved you probably oh well there's that that is actually on my website that's like all the tutorials but i don't even know where this web page is give me a second so in here you're going to find all the two like the old tutorials but what you could also do is in here you're going to find all the revision and i would say this is probably a good playlist to go through if you want to just get through achieved questions uh, especially at the beginning there's a lot of achieved questions that get covered before it goes to excellence but then the questions just get progressively harder as well um, so it's a pretty good playlist to keep in mind oh thank you tristan that's pretty pretty awesome of you appreciate it uh all right uh harriet time management i would actually say like honestly do the questions you know how to do first because don't be like oh, i need to do this question fully correctly before moving on to the next question it's the biggest mistake you can do one thing is like if you guys want to pass this paper read all the questions and then kind of like do a little little marker of like i know how to do this question uh really comfortably and just focus on that get rid of those um, easy questions once you get rid of those easy questions then you can come back and go right i can actually work on questions that i think i know how to do all right let's go with this question because um so our first thing that we have is we've got c equals 4a plus bn now we can kind of say that n is the number of toys right so if i look at it uh, when n equals to 60 the c is equal to 380 when n equals to 150 c equals 920 all right so if that's the case then we've actually got to set up a simultaneous equation. My first equation is going to be uh, 920 equals 4a plus 150b. And my second equation is going to be 380 equals 4a plus 60b. So now these are my two kind of equations that you're going to need. All right, to actually... Um, to get started so once we get these two equations now the, the lucky thing about this particular question is that you've actually got four rays on both lines so you can just subtract this straight away because you can go 920 take away 380 4a take away 4a 150 take away 60b because when we do this 920 take away 380 is 540 4a take away 4a is 0 150 take away 60 is 90b so 90b equals 540 b is equal to 540 divided by 90 so b is equal to 6 now if b is equal to 6 we're going to go back and figure out what a is uh, and we can choose any one of these um, equations i'm going to pick the 921 920 equals 4a plus 150b 920 equals 4a plus 150 times because b is equal to 6 i'm gonna put 6 in here and i've got 920 equals 4a plus what is it 900 300 yeah 300 is it six yeah 900 so rearranging this i've got 4a equals 920 take away 900 and so I can say 4a equals to 20 
a is equal to 20 over 4 so a is equal to 5 okay now it's actually asking us to find out the cost for 300 toys so then we can say c is equal to 4 times 5 plus b which is 6 times 300 so we're going to get 20 plus 1800 so we're going to get a cost of 1820 Cool. so what I'm going to do is I will try and put some line numbers and if you guys have questions you can feel free to ask oh yeah this is definitely E definitely E Uh, speed test the problem is I don't know which question you don't know which questions um, will be excellence or merit uh, Jamie I think I already put it up I'm sure it's already there Yeah, I think I'd, I'd go with Prod uh, Gemolish's advice there um, for anyone that just thinks about um, <laughs> finger truck. Unfortunately, I can't because uh, I've I've got to go to school, mate. Oh, Rio, I need to do that for Mr. Lasu. So we'll line three. Yes, yes, yes. Look, that only works if your uh, variables are the same and the numbers are the same in front of it Tristan thank you so much for that now nah, speed test I wouldn't do that because um, I mean I know if you stuff up the excellence question you can still get like achieved a merit grades from it but um, the problem is that unless you are absolutely sure which question is excellence um, you're taking a high risk there so just be mindful of that now I'm, I'm due for a visit I'm due for a visit to Mount Roscoe YouTube watcher which one are we doing for live walkthrough is that for geom geometric reasoning really Emma this is a merit. I thought this was an excellence. Surely this is an excellence. Can't be a merit. That's just horrible. Where is it? Exam papers 2021. I can't see it. Is that? Oh man, you're right. Emma, you're absolutely right. Exact similar question is worth the merit. Wow, that is stink. You're right, Emma. I apologize. That would be a merit question, this one. That is ridiculously annoying question for a merit. I guess, oh no, man, that's still annoying because it's like you got to find so much work for a merit. That's just ridiculous. Sorry. No, but near the like the thing is like see you've got to solve simultaneous and then after that you've got to figure out 300 toys like i thought this would this would be an excellence but geez that's harsh if that's that's a merit yeah i agree i agree shania i agree all right folks this is the last question for the night we're gonna do a nice easy one to finish off and then we can call it a night maybe oh my oh my god I'm, I'm i can't actually read your name because it's going too fast uh i think you asked me if it's an excellence if it was different um different numbers uh then I, yeah i would probably oh but even then it's just like that's mean
Yeah, this one, this one would be a merit. 10 to the power of 8. That's not right, question mark. Now, I don't, I, I don't think this would be an achieved. I think this would be a, at least a merit question. If you got x equals to 1, then you're... That's a nice little um, merit question. Uh, Haruto, generally speaking, like, sorry, I know you keep asking that question. Generally speaking, you want to spend one hour for each paper. Like, um, so if you're doing like um, algebra, calculus, or like, let's say at the end of the year, you do tables and equations, geometric reasoning and chance and data. You want to spend about an hour for each of those papers, which means you want to spend about 20 minutes for each question because they'll have three questions. Um, and I have like a couple of um, tips. So tomorrow we'll probably like spend like maybe about 10 minutes just real quickly before the stream starts um, on like how you manage your time and how you kind of um, spend, uh, what do you call it? Uh, how much time you should spend on a question before going, nah, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Yeah, you can tr you, you can heavenly. Um, it, it's just sometimes I get to it, sometimes I don't, uh, because I pretty much keep at the moment. I have to keep an eye on uh, Instagram. I have to keep an eye on uh, the YouTube comment section and emails. So it's like I kind of try and cycle around. But anyway, look, this is um this is the last question for the night that we're gonna do. So we're gonna get rid of the um, seven hundred first, and the way we're gonna do it is 10 to the power of 3x minus 1 equals 700 divided by 7 and when we do this we're going to get 10 to the power of 3x minus 1 equals 100 and now we can write it in base 10 which is squared and because the two powers the bases are the same we can say the two powers must equal each other forget about the base and we say 3x minus 1 equals to 2. So 3x is equal to 2 plus 1. It's a nice little question here. Uh, just to finish tonight's work actually. And x equals to 3 divided by 3. I, I still would say that this question is actually a merit. Yeah, this was this was a very easy merit question. It, it's funny, right? Because if you look at the previous question, the amount of work we needed to do for that merit, and then you look at a question like this at the bottom, it's also a merit. And I'm like, how how does that work? You know, I don't I don't get that part. That's why I'm like that. That top question should have been. Um... Alan, what was the answers you got for those? What were the three numbers you got? And do they work out? <laughs> Nevako, I think once you have enough practice, um, you will find that that's pretty much what happens to the rest of your questions. Uh, Sarah, I think when you don't show any working, um, and yeah, that I think that's when it's classified as a guess and check. I would I would be thinking the same thing, Armand, because that see like it's very easy for you to see a question like the previous one, and go, hey, this is um, this is an excellence question. I'm going to spend time on it and speed test. I think if you you ask me like, can I just do the excellence question? Like the previous question, I thought it was an excellence question, but then. Checking the answer schedule, that's actually a merit. All right, what? We're doing one more of the last question. Uh, no worries, Musketeer. That's awesome to hear. You guys are like that guy. Uh, well, I don't think you would know this, but I think you'd know this when in the future when you go to the clubs or and uh, the dj is like finishing up with this lost song and everyone's like one more one more 
All right, one more, one more it is, but um, can I make it harder? Harder one with exponents. All right, here we go. Let me just see if this works out because I kind of need to write it down. How hard are we talking about? Like the hardest question or? <laughs> All right, let's do one here, right? I'm gonna try and kind of put this together. Maybe, maybe this is the part, oh, this is the part where I should be like, I should put an ad in here because YouTube has been like managing my ads at the moment. Uh, all right, so what have we got? We've got... Give me a second, guys. Just gonna work this out. I, don't, I haven't seen this question pop up at all, but um, it's worth putting it out there just to annoy you guys a bit, because then you'll be like, I'm never asking him one more question again. Uh, let's go eight, actually, not eight. Let's go 32, 32, 16. Uh, less than th positive three, minus three, positive three. All right, here we go. One more question for the night, the last question. You are gonna get annoyed by me, I promise you this, but it will be um, not an easy question. There we go. <laughs> no, Shania, don't leave. Trust me, you know how to do this question. You're going to get so frustrated when I finish, when you see the answer. Ah, oh, yeah, true, Luke Petri. Should I change it back to equals? Now, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. Trust me. If you if you feel like actually this question is too hard, what I'd like you to do is side by side, I would like you to do this question. There we go. Because that way, um, I reckon you guys can actually do this. Um, the second, what is it? The one with the equals. And I'm going to show you the difference between the two parts of this question. Uh, Heavenly, I think in the live tutorials, I did a few of these questions. It's 2 to the power of x squared. I don't remember Asian face any any proofs questions so now nah, it's definitely possible definitely possible I'm, I'm sure I checked it you gotta check your um, direction of the arrows star so what I'll do is I'll actually do the um, the right hand side version first once I do the right hand side version then I'll actually um, show you the left hand side DJ you're so close something's not right with the answer It, it is a quadratic, Shania. It is definitely a quadratic.
Yeah, Olivia, I think I remember seeing them before. Alright, so, okay, don't, don't lose hope yet, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this question with you guys. Uh, you are going to get so frustrated because you're going to be like, I can't believe that's how simple this question was. How the hell did I not see this? So, remember, whenever we do exponential questions, right? And if you get these types of numbers, the first tip that I will give anybody is this. On the side of your um, paper, just write down this. 2 to the power of 1 is 2, 2 squared is 4, 2 to the power of 3 is 8, 2 to the power of 4 is 16. Alright, this is the first step you want to do because what we're going to do is we're going to replace 8 with 2 to the power of 3. We're going to replace 16 with 2 to the power of 4. Now I'm going to do the right hand side one first and I'm going to kind of show you guys how exactly simple it is. Um, to apply it for the left hand side as well so the first step is 16 is 2 to the power of 4 so I have 2 to the power of 4 to the power of X times 2 to the power of X squared equals 2 to the power of 3 now this is exactly the same thing that's going to happen on the other side I'm going to get 2 to the power of 4 to the power of X times 2 to the power of X squared less than equal to 2 to the power of 3 so as you guys can see nothing is um, really changed there I hope this actually works because um, I thought I did this right and I'm hoping I did it right but anyway let's keep going in the top here you know that if you have something like this you would write this as a to the power of m times n So if that's the case, I'm going to get 2 to the power of 4x multiplied by 2 to the power of x squared equals 2 to the power of 3. I think I might have made a mistake. Let me just check. Hang on. x squared plus 4x. Ah, bugger. You're right. It doesn't work. Ah, stupid. Let's actually change this thing. I thought I had it right. Sorry, let me check my question again. Hang on. 2 over 1 over 8. So it's going to be... Ah, that's why. Sorry, that should have been 1 over 8. This should work out. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That should have been 1 over 8. I think that one would work out. Because if it's 1 over 8, I'm going to get 1 over 2 cubed. 1 over 2 cubed. And if you guys remember, 1 over 2 cubed could be written as 2 to the power of negative 3. So again, same thing here. I've got 2 to the power of 4x times 2 to the power of x squared is less than or equal to 2 to the power of negative 3. Sorry, I should have I should have made that. I should have put that before. My bad, my bad. Good night, Jamie. Wait, you guys didn't learn that? No, nah, Cosilex, it won't because it'll come as minus 3 and it wouldn't actually work. Wait, what are we what are we saying no to? You've never seen the one over eight part. Wait, I thought this was in level one. Let me just check. Have I pushed you guys too far into level two? Let me just check. Hang on. I thought negative powers were actually there. No? 
Uh, maybe I made a mistake. Okay, might have been at level two. All right, fine, 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 fine. It might be level two then. I actually thought I, I remember teaching this at level one. Hang on a minute. Did I ever teach it at level one? Maybe that was like such a long time ago. <laughs> okay, 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 fine. Fine, fine. I'll get rid of that question. God. Let's let's just redo another question, all right? Give me a second. Let me just rewrite another question and see if it actually works. Well, that was a waste of time. But we'll stick to this. So we got times 2x squared. Hang on, let me just work it out. Try this one, try this one, try this one. This one should work. Now that I've shown you guys how to do half of it, is it gonna work? X minus one. Yeah, that should work. Yeah, see, I thought I thought so. Spare test. I thought this was actually um, done before. No, because like, because remember, I'm I'm sure this is in level one maths, but unless I've kind of like gone out of the game for so long. Now, Zach, that, that one wouldn't have, yeah, that would have eventually come out as minus three, between minus three and minus one. That's what that would have come out as. You're right on that answer for Zach, for that one. Well, I, I, since we've actually discovered this new tool today, I'm going to actually put a poll. So have you seen negative powers in your 11 mats? Just want to see how many of you guys have actually seen it before. thought you guys would have seen it like at least two-thirds of you never have seen it that's crazy so you guys have never seen negative powers yeah because like it comes in speed yeah you're right speed test because it does come in um, what do you call it it comes in tables equations and graphs Wow, man, that's that's insane. All right, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We'll um, we'll just get on with this question here. I will. I will um, later on. Um, just before we end the end the tutorial, I'll actually go through it. All right, but I just want to finish this question, guys, because I know it's getting a bit late today. So we've got uh, two to the power of four. Which actually, no, I'm just going to do that again. Two one is two. Two to the power of two is four. 2 cubed is 8, 2 to the power of 4 is 16, 2 to the power of 5 is 32. So we've got 16 done. We need to have 2 to the power of 5 is 32, which is that. And then 2 to the power of, no, we don't need anything else. That's fine. So here we've got 2 to the power of 4x times 2 to the power of x squared equals 2 to the power of 5. So here the powers get multiplied. Now remember that because the two bases are the same, we can actually add the power. So this is going to become 2 to the power of x squared plus 4x equals 2 to the power of 5. And because now the bases are the same, we can say x squared plus 4x is equal to 5. And then we can rearrange this x squared plus 4x minus 5 is equal to 0. Factorize this. We're going to get x plus 5 
x minus 1 equals 0. So we got x plus 5 equals to 0 or x minus 1 equals to 0. So our two answers are negative 5 and positive 1. Okay, so now comes um, if the same question was asked, but it's on the left hand side. You pretty much follow all of these steps. All right, except when you come to that final two point, you've got like this one extra bit that you need to do for this question because it's an inequality. What you have here is you've actually got a parabola and the parabola looks like this. And if we had rearranged it, you would have got x squared plus 4x minus 5 less than or equal to 0. So it's pretty much mirroring what you do for equals. All right. And if that's the case, then you want to know what these two points are. So imagine this is the x axis, right? So the two points that you calculated, which is negative 5 and positive 1. Those two values are what you found out when it, equal, when it equals to zero. So when you're trying to find less than zero, you're actually looking for this zone here. So your answer is going to be between five, negative five and positive one. That's pretty much that extra line that um, you need to you need to do so star we're going to be doing it um, there you go you don't need the graph Jonathan you can actually go straight to the answer if you are <clears throat> comfortable with it so Teresa I'll actually show you what what happens if it's the other way guys there's a really good question. If you have the graph looking like this, greater than or equal to zero, you still do the same thing. You draw a parabola, you find out the value which is negative five and positive one. And because it's greater than zero, so it's greater than zero, you're looking at this zone and this zone you would write this as x less than or equal to negative 5 or you can actually go 1 less than or equal to x so that's how you write it if the um, the graph was actually flipped over this both of these like I think both of these questions like the second part of it definitely excellence like if I put that less than or equal to as an inequality Star, I owe him a little little thank you video, which um, I will try and see if I can actually make one tomorrow. Um, I just have to remember it because I know he asked me for one and I keep um, kind of missing it. Yes, Archie, we are done um, for the night. We're, we're done. Uh, that's like one hour, 40 minutes of nonstop talking. Um, just very quickly before, before I go, um, I think... You guys asked me that question about the negatives, um, which I just wanted to show you guys real quickly. Like if you have x to the power of seven divided by x to the power of three, you know that this is seven minus three and then it's x to the power of four. <clears throat> now if it was the other way around, x to the power of three over seven, we can actually cancel we do this right sometimes we cancel this and then we write this as 4 so we could write this as 1 over x to the power of 4 but this is the same thing as saying if I do x to the power of 3 x7 we can say x3 minus 7 which equals to x to the power of negative 4 so this and this is the same same thing but like I said I'm sorry I kind of put that in there but it's not something you don't need to know <laughs> I appreciate that uh, Gyananjan but uh, look that's that's us for tonight guys um, I already put that up there finger truck it's I wrote it down 
It's too hot to say. There, hang on. Where is it? No, no, no. We're not doing one more. I've, I've got to actually um, get get ready for our next work for tomorrow's actual school work. No worries, guys. Look, um, enjoy, enjoy um, the day. We've got one more uh, little stream tomorrow. I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna. How do I say it? I don't know what are we gonna work on because it's like usually that's when things get a bit crazy. Um, I probably will only spend like a couple of, couple of minutes just covering some basics, um, because obviously people are gonna come. And they're going to be like, ah, oh, can you do this question? Can you go that question? And it's going to be like super, super crazy. But um, no, I'll, I'll definitely pop in at about um, around 7.30, 7.40. Like I said, 8 o'clock. Um, like honestly, I wouldn't even know what question to cover because it's just insane. Uh, Chloe, they, at, at my school, they call me Subash. At my old school, they used to call me Chandike. Um, <laughs> Arman, I'll tell you what, guys. I am gonna be. Um, I haven't actually said this to many people, but um, on Thursday, uh, our school we're actually doing um, markets. I'm gonna hang around and I'm gonna give out like uh, three T-shirts at our at our school market, which is between three to six. So if you are around East Auckland area, uh, feel free to pop by. I'm gonna do like a little um, in-house in-house draw so it's like in in not in-house what do you call it um not in-house like you got to be there to win kind of thing uh ojc I'll, I'll update i'll update tomorrow i'll update a little uh post tomorrow so yeah finger trick i can like look i actually caught up with a couple of people i know i actually caught up with um i think it might have been your first 15 coach today um it was a yeah it was an interesting conversation yes star small business <laughs> uh Olmiston, Olmiston senior no junior college uh str vnx of course i know her but she's not at ojc she's at osc uh musketeer yes it'll be saved once i stop it give it like a couple of minutes and it'll go through yes natasha i am <laughs> order of infinity plus one wow i love that that's such a cool cool thing man i gotta say oh this joe i was like i kid you not i was just like playing around with our um vinyl vinyl cutter and um just to see if it actually works and i was like man this is cool uh he's he's going to sleep sarah <laughs> Uh, synth what's the most important thing to remember for MCAT don't leave any questions uh, empty yeah finger truck I know both of them I definitely know the first one give Bene some grief from me will you <laughs> well done prod well done Elijah, I don't, I don't think, don't, don't think like that. I mean, you've got to kind of focus on um, just getting those um, achieves, then work on the merits, and then have a go at the excellences. Then, all right. Uh, what school is the market at? Almost in junior college, between three to six. Medushi, I actually have it. Hang on, let's just see. I actually have it inked. Like this came first before the channel. No worries, Ria. You're welcome. I did have one, Anne, but then I kind of closed it down. But um, no, I did. There was a Discord server, but I just got. Yeah, it is. It's a proper tattoo, Arman. I will. I'll pop in for a quick, quick little um chat, but um. I don't know if, if it's like too many people on and it's like I won't actually be um, able to answer any questions. So it just kind of like becomes a bit tricky. Uh, Max Wilson, you can. Um, I do have a store and um, 
I think I'm about to do a, a triple, what is it? 33,333 subscriber giveaway, but uh, which is basically three t-shirts. I'll, um, I'll, once the MCAT is over, maybe at the end of this week or maybe next week, we'll do a little giveaway for the t-shirts. Now, Synth, I, I just don't have time to kind of maintain it. And I had someone that was looking after it, but um, it just, to be honest, it just got too much. No, I did. I had some people looking after it, but um, it was just like I just got too tired of trying to maintain too many things. So I was like, you know what? It's um, like there's a couple of good Discord servers with NCA help. So um, go and have a look um, at what what people are already doing. So uh, finger truck, so many stories. I told one of the stories to uh, the kids in Papatoi High School when I visited them a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, there there is a NCA help server, um, which. Oh wow. <laughs> oh Marco, you don't need to, but thank you, mate. Appreciate it. The NCA help server is actually quite. It's really good. Thank you, Ben. Appreciate it, man. But um, Marco, honestly, you don't need to, but you know it's look after yourself man uh the nca help server give me a second let me just find how the hell do i uh, how do i even Jeez. you know it's that embarrassing moment when you can't find out where the share button is oh is this <laughs> I don't know where the share button is. I'm on it, but I don't know where the share button is. How do you find the share link? Invite people. Oh, here we go. Or send a uh, copy. Okay, here we go. Let's try this. And I'm going to try and pin it. So there we go. That's the... Um, I think that's a really good... There's a lot of guys that are there that are just kind of helping out. Really good help there. What, really, Felix? How, which school is this? And I'd love to see one of your video. <laughs> good luck, Arman, if I don't see you. Uh, Luke, it's generally linear, quadratic, and a bit of excellence. Uh, sorry, exponential. Zach, we're on integration this week, I think. Oh no, troll. <laughs> That's gotta hurt. Yeah, good good luck, um Gyananjin. <laughs> oh awesome man, I'd love to love to jump on and uh throw a couple of seconds there. Ah, uh, prod. That that's all good, man. I mean, honestly, like, I don't really care if people people make fun of me or people use it. Doesn't really matter. Good luck, speed test. Yeah, marks are generally tend to be harder, Olivia. They always do that. Ali, that's um not sure Ali how to answer that because it's it's different every time now we didn't do any consecutive order even number Gorman to visit synth I'd love to visit any school man but uh, you know I think my school has to let me go and because I've got a I've got a class in everything look the only school I went to was uh, t I went to three schools in Christchurch I went to um, Hayata and a couple of other schools but anyway guys look it is it is super super late um, go to sleep and I will um, yeah I'll, I'll probably catch you guys tomorrow and then we'll try and do the final run um, before the big day on Tuesday all right thank you again for all of your support um, I hope you guys picked up something today and um, and also thank you so much for actually kind of sharing the story 
Um, <laughs> Marco, you don't need to, man. Honestly, don't worry about it. Just, just look after yourself. Yeah. So I, I guess I just wanted to say thank you for um, letting, telling my story to people, because it was really cool to kind of hear a reporter that actually um, picked up the story and, um, you know, it's it's, I enjoy it and I enjoy it and it's um, it's good fun and I'm able to help people. That's all that matters. So have a good night, rest up, make sure you guys get some sleep as well because um, don't stay up too long um, trying to actually um, kind of revise, all right? All right, take care and I'll catch you guys um, tomorrow. Bye.